the biggest uh, question is whether the reflection of sunlight is coming from a solid surface or maybe a dense cloud of dust. For months, we've tracked the interstellar object 3I Atlas, believing it was a giant comet from another star. Now, a single image from the Hubble Space Telescope changes everything. The object is glowing, but not in the way it's supposed to. A mysterious light is emanating from it, aimed directly at the sun. To put it mildly, the shape of this glow is what has scientists on edge. The fundamental question, as far as I'm concerned, is what is the object? How big is it? It's a precise, narrow beam, 10 times as long as it is wide. This isn't the signature of a comet. It's the signature of something far, far stranger, a shape that defies physics. In the silent, cold vacuum of space, nearly 100 million miles from Earth, the Hubble Space Telescope opened its eye. Its target was an object of immense interest. 3I Atlas, a seven-mile-wide behemoth, the third interstellar visitor ever detected in our cosmic neighborhood. Astronomers expected to see the typical behavior of a large comet, a fuzzy, expanding cloud of gas and dust called a coma, and perhaps the faint beginnings of a tail pushed away by the solar wind. What they saw instead has sent a shockwave through the astronomical community. The image revealed a bizarre, unexpected feature, a distinct glow, a jet of material pointing directly towards the sun. You see, this is the exact opposite of how comets work. The sun's radiation and solar wind act like a celestial blowtorch, always pushing material away, creating the iconic tail that trails behind a comet. But not all things are what they seem. 3i Atlas was doing the impossible. But the real wow factor, the detail that has turned this from a curiosity into a potential paradigm-shifting discovery, is the shape of this sunward glow. It is not a diffuse cloud or a wide spray. The Hubble image shows a feature that is shockingly precise, a narrow line of light. New analysis, highlighted by controversial Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, reveals that this jet is 10 times longer than it is wide. This 10 to 1 aspect ratio is, to put it mildly, unnatural. The chaotic process of ice sublimating from a tumbling, uneven surface of a comet nucleus should create a broad, fan-like cone of gas and dust. It shouldn't create a tight, focused beam. What many overlooked in the initial reports is that this isn't the first time 3I Atlas has broken the rules. Earlier observations from the James Webb Space Telescope had already delivered a puzzle. JWST's powerful infrared sensors, designed to detect the chemical fingerprints of water, found surprisingly little of it in the material surrounding 3I Atlas. It was a dry comet, a near contradiction in terms. Then, other Hubble observations captured the object mysteriously fragmenting, breaking apart for no apparent reason. Now, this impossibly shaped sunward jet adds another layer to the mystery. It's a pattern of weirdness, a growing list of anomalies that natural explanations are struggling to account for. We are looking at an object that travels like a comet, but does not act like one. The numbers are staggering. 3I Atlas is estimated to be over seven miles in diameter. That's the size of the object that wiped out the dinosaurs. It's hurtling through our solar system at over 100,000 miles per hour. Its sheer scale and speed are mind-boggling. An object this large should behave in predictable ways. But the thing nobody tells you is that with every new observation, 3I Atlas becomes less predictable and more alien. This isn't just a bigger version of comets we've seen before. It's a different class of object entirely. And this new Hubble image, with its geometrically precise sunward glow, might just be the key that unlocks its true and perhaps terrifying nature. The question is no longer just, what is it made of? It's now, what is it doing and why? This bizarre glow could be a clue that we are not just looking at a rock. To understand why the latest Hubble image of 3I Atlas is so explosive, we have to look back to 2017. That was the year the first interstellar visitor a strange, cigar-shaped object named Oumuamua tumbled through our solar system. It was a watershed moment. For the first time, we had proof that objects from other star systems could journey to our own. But 
Oumuamua left behind a trail of baffling questions. It was small, only a few hundred feet long, and it was accelerating away from the sun without any visible tail or outgassing. It was pushed by an unseen force. Many people are crazy about finding a simple explanation, but none ever quite fit. Avi Loeb famously proposed that the most logical explanation was that Oumuamua was a piece of alien technology, a thin solar sail designed to be pushed by starlight. The idea was ridiculed by many, but the mystery of Oumuamua's acceleration was never solved. It was a single data point, a cosmic enigma that vanished as quickly as it came. Then came 3i Atlas. Discovered in 2025, it was a completely different beast. It was a giant, thousands of times more massive than Oumuamua, and it initially appeared to be a classic interstellar comet. But the strange clues quickly began to pile up, echoing the ghost of Oumuamua. First, its trajectory showed slight deviations that weren't perfectly explained by gravity alone, a subtle acceleration that rang alarm bells for those who remembered the Oumuamua case. While some of this could be explained by outgassing, the numbers didn't quite add up especially after the JWST found it to be unusually dry. A comet that pushes itself without a lot of water vapor is like a boat that moves without a strong wind. This was the first hint that 3i Atlas was more than it seemed. Now, with this new Hubble data, the parallels have become undeniable. The sunward jet on 3i Atlas, with its precise 10 to 1 shape, presents a new kind of physics puzzle. If the object is being pushed by an unseen force, this glow could be a clue to the engine behind it. What if the glow isn't a jet of sublimating gas at all? What if it's something else entirely? A reflection. The thing nobody tells you is that a thin, flat, reflective surface, seen nearly edge-on, would create a glint of light that is much longer than it is wide. A 10 to 1 ratio is exactly what you might expect from a flat, sheet-like object catching the sun's rays. This perfectly matches Loeb's controversial theory for Oumuamua. We now have two interstellar objects, one small and one gigantic, both exhibiting characteristics that defy easy natural explanation and instead point toward a highly specific artificial shape, thin and flat. What many overlooked is that finding one anomaly is a mystery. Finding a second one that shares similar strange characteristics is the beginning of a pattern. This isn't just about a weird glow anymore. It's about connecting the dots. A glint of alien metal. Let's entertain the idea that has been pushed from the fringe to the forefront by this new Hubble image. What if 3 I Atlas is not natural? If the sunward glow isn't a cometary jet but a reflection, it implies the object has a smooth, flat surface. A seven-mile-wide object with a smooth, flat surface is not a celestial body. It's a celestial construction we would be talking about a piece of technology on a scale that is difficult for the human mind to even comprehend. A structure the size of a mountain, sailing between the stars. The bizarre 10 to 1 ratio of the glow isn't just a random number. It could be the geometric proof of its artificiality. It's the kind of clean mathematical signature that engineers produce, not the messy, chaotic signature that nature does. You see, if this is a piece of technology, its purpose is a complete mystery. Is it a probe? Unlikely. A seven mile wide probe is overkill. Is it a ship? A habitat? Or perhaps, as Loeb has suggested for objects like this, a piece of cosmic driftwood? A dead but functional buoy from a civilization that may no longer even exist? The James Webb Telescope's finding that 3i Atlas is strangely lacking in water vapor suddenly makes more sense in this context. An artificial object wouldn't need to be a ball of ice. It could be made of advanced hardened metals and composites, materials that wouldn't produce a watery coma as they warm up. The fragments seen breaking away from it in other Hubble images might not be chunks of rock, but perhaps smaller components detaching, or pieces of a damaged superstructure. Every single anomaly observed about 3i Atlas. Its subtle acceleration, its dry composition, its fragmentation, and now its geometrically precise sunward glow, snaps into place if you assume one thing, that it was built. To put it mildly, the implications are profound. An object this large would require energy sources and construction capabilities that are millions of years ahead of our own. 
The thing nobody tells you is that confirming 3i Atlas as artificial wouldn't just mean we're not alone in the universe. It would mean we are nowhere near the top of the technological food chain. We would be like a tribe in a remote jungle suddenly seeing a satellite glint in the night sky. We wouldn't understand what it is or how it works, but we would know, with absolute certainty, that a vastly more powerful intelligence exists. And it's right here, in our own solar system, for us to see. This single Hubble image may have turned the search for extraterrestrial intelligence from a passive act of listening for radio signals into an active observation of a physical object within reach of our own probes. This isn't just a discovery. It could be a revelation of our true place in the cosmos. Sobering reality. So what happens now? This is the down-to-earth reality. The data from Hubble is public. The analysis by credible scientists like Avi Loeb is out there, and it presents humanity with a fork in the road. On one path, the scientific community dismisses this as yet another anomaly that will eventually have a natural, if complex, explanation. They will point to our limited understanding of interstellar comets and argue that we are seeing a new type of natural phenomenon. They will say that claiming it's alien technology is an argument from ignorance, a leap too far. And they might be right. The universe is infinitely stranger than we can imagine, and it's entirely possible that there are natural processes that can create a 10 to 1 sunward jet on a 7 mile wide object. But on the other path lies a much more challenging truth. This is the path where we take the evidence at face value. People watching this are looking for that mystery, wondering if this is finally it. Are we missing a key detail, or is the answer staring us in the face? The thing is, if we accept that 3i Atlas might be artificial, it forces us to confront some of the biggest questions we have ever asked. It would be a fire drill for our entire worldview. Are our governments, religions, and social structures ready for the confirmation of non-human intelligence, especially one so advanced? History shows that contact between civilizations with vast technological gaps rarely ends well for the less advanced one. The discovery wouldn't be an invasion. It would be the quiet mathematical certainty that we are cosmic toddlers in a universe populated by adults. What many have overlooked is that this isn't happening overnight. It's a slow motion discovery unfolding over years, from the first detection of Oumuamua to the detailed and increasingly strange analysis of 3i Atlas by both Hubble and JWST. You see, each new piece of data adds to a growing mountain of evidence that something profound is happening in our cosmic backyard. This isn't a prophecy of doom, but a fire drill for our entire worldview. It's a direct call to take the search for our cosmic neighbors seriously, to point every instrument we have at these visitors while they are here. The thing is, our window to act is small. We need to prepare missions to go see these objects up close before they disappear back into the interstellar darkness forever. This is the sobering truth. Whether 3i Atlas is a natural wonder or an artificial marvel, it proves that the universe can send things our way that we simply do not understand. And if we don't try to understand them, we are leaving our entire future to chance. That bizarre, elongated glow in the Hubble image isn't just a picture of a distant object. It's a mirror reflecting a test back at us. How we choose to respond to this great unknown will say more about our own readiness to join the galactic community than it ever will about 3i Atlas itself. The evidence is in the images, pointing towards a conclusion that could change the world. Is 3i Atlas a natural mystery or an alien artifact? Tell us what you think. Like and subscribe for more on the universe's greatest secrets. Thanks for watching.